Hi guys, I hope you all are doing good. Today, I'm going to share some really good tips and tricks for the Poco X4 Pro. So if you're watching my channel for the very first time, it would be highly appreciated if you can hit the subscribe button. And if you find this video useful at some point, do hit the like button as well. Okay, first things first, if you already own a Poco or a Xiaomi device, you will find a lot of tips and tricks uh, given in this video familiar. But these tips and tricks are for the new Poco X4 or for the new Xiaomi MI UI users. So make sure that you do not mind that. All right, first of all, I'm gonna show you how you can capture a screenshot on your Poco X4 Pro. Well, there are two ways to do that. First, you can swipe three fingers on the screen like this and if the page is scrollable, you will get the scroll option as well. Uh, you can also press and hold the volume down and the power button uh, and it will capture a screenshot. Now, speaking of the screenshot uh, reminds me of the screen recorder as well. You can just pull down the notifications uh, or the toggles panel like this and right here you will find the screen recorder. Just pressing the button will uh, bring up the screen recorder and then you can tap the recording button to start the recording. Now here we have some other buttons as well. There is the files button which basically locates the recorded screens and then there is the settings icon here. In the settings of the screen recorder you can set the resolution, you can set the video quality orientation sound source, the frame rate and there is uh, a couple of other options in the screen recorder settings. Next up, how to enable an application drawer on the POCO X4 Pro? Well, by default, your POCO X4 Pro will not be using an application drawer. So what you have to do is long press on an empty area on the home screen and go to the settings and then go to more. And here you will find the app drawer under additional settings. Go to the app drawer and enable it. Uh, the app suggestions will be enabled and the app drawer will be enabled. You will find the app drawer on your phone like this. It's completely up to you. If you don't want to use the application drawer, you can just disable it as well. In the same home screen options, we have the backgrounds. Well, these backgrounds are for the application drawer and you can just set the transparency of the application drawer by using these background options. By default, it, the transparency is set to zero, but you can just set it to 100 as well. And it will make the application drawer fully transparent. As you can see here, the application drawer is now transparent. Again, this is a personal preference and you can just set it the way you like. Within the same home screen settings, I would also like to show you the icons options. You can just uh, change uh, the icons. You can add new icon packs from the Google Play Store by using this icon pack option. And in the same settings, you also have the customized layout option. From here, you can change the size of the icons. You can switch to extra large or just keep it to medium or small. Before I go ahead, I would also like to uh, tell you that by default, your POCO X4 Pro will be using the 60 Hertz refresh rate. Well, I suggest switching it to 120 Hertz because 120 Hertz is where this phone will give you uh, a very smooth uh, animations. And here you have 120 Hertz and 60 Hertz. And like I said, by default, it will be using the 60 Hertz. So make sure that you select 120 Hertz from the display settings of the phone. Next up, how to add new toggles to this screen right here? Well, you can add or remove the toggles by clicking on this edit button right here. Uh, just click on the minus button to remove a toggle and click on the plus button to add a toggle. You can also rearrange these toggles according to your own liking. In the toggles, we have the dark mode for this phone. Uh, since this phone comes with an AMOLED panel, the dark mode is going to be really useful and I suggest using the dark mode whenever it's possible for you because this is definitely going to save a little bit of battery on your POCO X4 Pro. Well, let me also show you how to launch the application in the split view. Uh, you need to have some applications opened up and then you have to go to the recent applications panel and in the recent applications panel click uh, long press on uh, any applications window and then click on this split button right here. You have launched the applications in the split view now. The other application that you want to launch along with uh, the application that you previously selected that uh, has to be launched from the application drawer of your phone. And you can see that I just launched uh, the Chrome browser along with the Play Store on my POCO X4 Pro. You can launch the YouTube, social media applications and use the applications 
simultaneously. Before I enter the settings of the POCO X4 Pro, I would also like to show you how you can enable and use the editor in the gallery application of your POCO X4 Pro. Well, uh, open any picture in the gallery application and click on this edit button, uh, the second button at the bottom of the screen and this will take you to the photo editor. My photo editor is already enabled so it did not ask me for any kind of permissions but if it's not already enabled on your phone you have to allow some permissions to use the photo editor and inside the photo editor you have all these options you can auto tune a picture or you can just apply some filters erase some uh, objects inside the picture and do a lot of other things to make your pictures look better let's jump into the settings of the poco x4 pro now now in the settings uh, the very first setting that i would like to show you is how to keep the always on display on all the time on the screen by default the always on display will go off after 10 seconds but it won't just stick on the screen but if you want to make it stick you have to do some pro stuff here well first of all you have to go to the about phone and here tap on the miui version of your phone for about seven times and to access the developer options you will go to the additional settings go to the bottom and you have the developer options here now go to the bottom inside the developer options and click on this reset to default values so after resetting to the default values we have the turn on miui optimization option appearing right here well you have to disable the miui optimization what this will do is it will make the always on display stick on the screen all the time but remember this is going to eat your phone's battery if you don't want the battery to deplete faster you enable the miui optimization and stop using the always on display all the time the best is to keep using the always on display in its default state but just in case you don't want that, you, you can just tweak your phone the way I just showed you. Well, next up we have the notifications and the control center. In the notifications and control center, first of all, I would like to show you how you can change the control center style to the good old MIUI control center. Click on it and here you have the old version. Old version will bring this typical traditional MIUI toggles menu, but if you just want to use the new iOS style, uh, control center here you go here you have it okay next up we have the status bar options here in the status bar you can show the connection speed if you like you can uh, edit the battery indicator you can edit the carrier name you can also hide the notch and you can also manage the notch in the individual applications these are some handy and these are some really useful status bar settings given right here let's take a look at the privacy and security in the privacy and security you have uh, fingerprint unlock and the face unlock. I suggest using the fingerprint unlock and the face unlock uh, simultaneously just in case your hand is busy and you can't unlock the phone with your finger. The face unlock will help you and vice versa. Always set up these two options at the same time. Moving on to the additional settings of the phone. Inside the additional settings, first of all, we have the full screen display. Well, if you don't want to use these navigation buttons, you can just turn on the full screen gestures and now you can see that uh, we have a very nice clean looking full screen display on the phone and if you want to make it look further good you can hide the full screen indicator as well and now you will see that there is no indicator but you will still be able to use the phone as you can see that i am using right here i like the buttons appearing on the screen which is why I keep using the buttons but if you just want to use the navigation gestures here is a little tutorial for you inside the same settings you can use these and it again depends on your personal choice next up we have the gesture shortcuts here we have the shortcuts to launch the google assistant take a screenshot launch the camera and turn on the torch you can also set the double tap finger sensor to perform a certain action uh, in the same settings we also have the memory extension it is turned on by default and this adds 2 gigs of extra RAM to your phone's existing RAM. Before I forget, I would also like to show you some useful options in the app settings. Well, here you have the dual app. The dual apps will basically install a second instance of the social media applications like Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, Snapchat. 
and uh, a dozen other such applications. You can see that it says you can create 33 dual apps on your phone. This is useful if you want to use two accounts for one social media at the same time inside your phone or just in case you want to use two WhatsApp accounts using two different mobile numbers uh, at the same time inside one phone. The dual apps feature is really useful in that sense. Inside the same apps, we also have the app lock. This is a native app lock of the POCO X4 Pro. While this app lock exists in this phone, you don't have to look for a third party app lock. And this is much more secure than all those third party application locks available in the Play Store. So I always suggest using this app lock if you wish to do so. Let's take a look at the special features of the phone. Although there are some features missing in the POCO X4 Pro, the three available features are still useful. Well, here, first of all, we have the sidebar. The sidebar is very similar to the edge panels on the Samsung Galaxy devices. The sidebar basically appears here on the left side of the phone. You can see that using this sidebar, you can launch any application. This is basically a list of the application shortcuts. You can also add or remove applications or games inside this sidebar. You can also change the position of this toolbox. Next up is the floating windows option. The floating windows option basically launches an application in a floating view and you can move it anywhere on the screen just as it's being shown right here in this animation. And uh, the most useful feature in the special features is the second space. This is basically another instance of your phone where you can store your private data, install your private applications and do anything else that you want to keep away from the main menu of your Xiaomi POCO X4 Pro. In the end, we will take a quick look at the camera tips and tricks of the POCO X4 Pro. Well, here, uh, the 108 megapixels mode will not be appearing here in the camera tray by default. It will be appearing under more options. So you can move uh, the icons to and from the more options. All you have to do is go to the more settings and click on this edit button. Uh, this is basically the camera tray that appears on the main screen. And these are the more features. If you just want to remove any icon from the camera tray, you can drag it and drop it right here. But if you just want to add an icon to the camera tray, you can drag it and drop it back. And the option will start appearing in the camera tray. Well, uh, since you know that by default, your phone will be showing you the photo mode. If you want to capture the highest photos, you will switch to the 108 megapixels mode on your phone. If you long press this shutter button on your POCO X4 Pro, it will start capturing a video. But if you just want to use the burst shot mode, you can go to the settings of your phone and now uh, choose this setting, press and hold the shutter button and change it to burst shot. This will let you take a burst shot using the shutter button of the phone. If you just want to uh, shut down the shutter sound of your phone, you can do that as well from the camera settings. And if you just want to add a custom watermark to your images, you can do so by uh, using this watermark setting inside the camera settings of the POCO X4 Pro. You can also add a timestamp. You can choose the device watermark or you can just add a custom watermark like this. And this is pretty much it with the POCO X4 Pro tips and tricks. I just wanted to keep this video uh, short and straightforward. I hope you guys uh, did like this video. If you found it useful, make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. If you have any other tip to share, make sure to share it in the comment section for all other POCO X4 Pro honors. With that being said, I will sign off and see you all in the next one.